Location of Aerosmith Peninsula on Graham Coast, Antarctic Peninsula. Aerosmith Peninsula is a cape about 40 miles long on the west coast of Graham Land. West of Farrell Glacier, Sharp Glacier, and Lalamond Fjord, and northwest of Bourgeois Fjord, with Hannes Bay lying to the northwest. It was surveyed by the Falkland Islands Dependencies Survey in 1955-58 and named for Edwin Porter Aerosmith, Governor of the Falkland Islands. Various features along the coast of Aerosmith Peninsula have been charted and named. The peninsula and many of its features were first seen and roughly surveyed in 1909 by the French Antarctic Expedition under Jean-Baptiste Charcot. Unless otherwise noted, all of the following features were named by the United Kingdom Antarctic Place Names Committee. Schmidt Point marks the north extremity of Aerosmith Peninsula. It was sketched from the air in 1937 by the British Graham Land Expedition under John Riddick Rymill and named in 1954 for Otto Schmidt, director of the Arctic Institute at Leningrad and leader of many Arctic expeditions. Langmuir Cove indents the north end of the peninsula, just to the west of Schmidt Point. It was named for Irving Langmuir, an American physicist who studied the formation of snow. The northwest extremity of the peninsula is Thorn Point which is west of the cove. It was mapped in 1960 from surveys made by FIDS personnel, and was named for John Thorne, FIDS meteorologist at Data A Island. To the west of that is Shumsky Cove. Photographed from the air by the Falkland Islands and Dependencies Aerial Survey Expedition in 1957, it was mapped by FIDS from 1956-59, and later named for Petr A. Shumsky, Russian glaciologist. Along the west coast, the headland Bagnold Point divides Shumsky Cove from Gunnel Channel. It was named in 1960 for Ralph A. Bagnold, English explorer and geologist. Inland to the east lies Mount Street. Louis, and farther inland, Meyer Valley, named for Mark F. Meyer, an American geologist who studied strain in glaciers. Continuing south along the west coast, the next notable feature is Longridge Head, which forms the north side of Whistling Bay and marks the south end of a small coastal ridge which extends three nautical miles northward along the peninsula. The descriptive name was applied by FIDS personnel who surveyed the headland in 1948. Whistling Bay is an open bay, four nautical miles wide and indenting to five nautical miles between Longridge Head and Cape Sines. It was first roughly surveyed in 1936 by BGLE personnel, then reserved in 1948 by FIDS, who named it for an unidentified whistling sound heard there at the time of the survey. The southernmost extremity of the peninsula is Cape Sines, which was named by Charcot for Roque Sines Peña, President of the Argentine Republic. The Cape is between Lobu Fjord and Bigorden Fjord. Inland of the Cape, the Mercanton Heights stand between Bigorden Fjord and Nye Glacier. The heights were mapped by FIDS from 1948-59, and were later named for Swiss glaciologist Paul Louis Merkenden. Farther east, just before Aerosmith Peninsula joins the main coast, Rocky Chertograd Point marks the west side of the entrance to Blind Bay, the northeast extremity and head of Bourgeois Fjord. The point was named by the Bulgarian Antarctic Institute after the western Bulgarian medieval fortress Chertograd. Blind Bay was first surveyed in 1936 by the BGLE, and named by FIDS, following a 1949 survey, because the bay proved a blind alley to sledging parties. This article incorporates public domain material from websites or documents of the United States Geological Survey. Thanks for watching.